Hi everyone, this is Prachita from Edureka and today we will be learning about what are primary keys and foreign key in SQL. But before we get started, if you are new to our channel, please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Also, if you are interested in online certification courses, please check out the link given in the description below. In today's video, we will be discussing what are primary keys, examples of primary key, syntax of primary key, and then we will talk about what are foreign keys, examples of foreign key and syntax of foreign key. So to begin with, what is primary key? Primary key is basically a restriction. So the primary key is a column or a set of columns that uniquely defines each row in a table. So when we set a column as primary key, it will always have a unique data. That is, it will have no duplicates in it or there will not be any null value or the value should never change. So let's check out an example of primary key. So this is a customer table with customer ID, first name, last name and city. As we can see, there are different customer IDs with different customer names and city. Here in this table, the first name and the last name or the city can be repetitive. Like Rohit Sinha and Sakshi Sinha, they both have the same last name. So which column has the unique values? That would be the customer ID column. So we can set the customer ID as our primary key. So here in columns, first name, last name and city, we can have duplicates like both Rohit and Sakshi has surname Sinha. Even cities can have duplicates like both Ajay Rathor and Rohit Sinha live in the city of Mumbai. But the ID column will be unique for them all. To every customer, there will be one customer ID which will not be repetitive or duplicate. So now let's see how to write a syntax on primary key. So to set a primary key in a table, we use the following syntax. We use the create table syntax with the table name that we want. Then we define the column names with their data types and we can have as many columns as we require. And lastly, we mention the primary key. That is the column which will be called as the primary key. So now if you already have a table and you want to set a column as primary key, you can use the alter command. So for this, we write the command as alter table and the table name where you want to add the primary key and the syntax add primary key with the column name. Similarly, if you want to drop a primary key, then again we use the alter table command and here instead of writing add primary key, we write drop primary key. So next let's talk about what is foreign key. So when we set a column as a foreign key, the intention is to link the two tables together. Another point of foreign key is that foreign key of one table is used as primary key in another table. It basically helps to create links between tables. So let's look into another example to understand it better. So here we have two tables. One is the customer table, another is the city table. In the customer table, we have the customer details and in the city table, we have the name of the cities with their respective IDs. So let's consider the city ID as primary key in city table and customer ID in customer table as the primary key. Now in our customer table, we will replace city names with the city IDs. So in our customer table, we'll have the city IDs instead of the city names. So this way the city ID will be the primary key in the city table and the customer ID will be the primary key in the customer table and the city column in the customer table will be our foreign key. And to link these two tables, we can use the city ID as the foreign key. Having city IDs in customer table can make the customer table easier and can lower the loading time of the table. So now let's look into the syntax of foreign key. It's almost similar to the primary key syntax itself, but it also has the references. But as you can see, it also has a command called references. So what is the purpose of references? Basically references refer to the primary key of another table. It gives reference of one table to another table. Similar to primary key, we also have alter commands in foreign key. Like you can see alter table with the table name and you can add a foreign key with the column and referring to the primary key of another table. That is references table and the column name. And for dropping a foreign key, we can use the similar command just changing it with the drop foreign key instead of add foreign key and we don't have to mention the references. So now let's get into the hands on to have a better idea of primary key and foreign key in MySQL. So let's get started with our query on MySQL workbench. So to start with we create a table called city table. So the syntax would look like create table. 
city CID, which is the city ID, int not null auto increment, which means that the value of the ID will keep on increasing by one. Then we'll have the city name for which the data type would be varcard and not null and primary key. Now let's run our function. So as you can see, we had already created a database previously called sales. So we'll be using that same database use sales to create our new table called city. So in this new city table, we'll have the CID that is the city ID. And then we have defined the data type of CID and we've mentioned not null and auto increment means that the city ID is going to increase in number by one. And then we have the city name, which is Varkar, and we have limited it to 50 and not null, like it should not take up values where the city name is null. And then we have mentioned the primary key as CID, which is the city ID. Then we have used the next query that is insert into, that is we have inserted the values of the city names into the city table. That is, as you can see the values, Mumbai, Delhi, Kolkata, Bangalore, Chennai, Hyderabad. And we have run the queries so we can see that the tables are created. So our next query would be, let's type it out. So next we will have the table called customers. Create table. In this table, the primary key would be the ID of the customers. So that we have defined as only ID. And we will write the foreign key as city. And referring to the city table where the primary key is C ID, which is the city ID. So let's run our query. This has created a table called customer where the primary key is ID and the foreign key is city. So now let's insert values into this table. So let's run this query. And so now we have the table called customers with the same. So if you want to see the customers table, you can see that there's ID, first name, last name, and city. So if you want to see the city table, in the city table, you can see the city IDs have their respective city names. So if you want the customers table to show the city names instead of city, then we have to join these two tables using the join function that we will learn about in our next video. So I hope you like this video and if there's any concept that is not clear, you can definitely mention in the comment section below and we will definitely reach out to you. So see you again in our next video. Until then, happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!